I tend to watch mukbangs when I'm hungry. And now I'm like actually the person. It's powerful. Hey guys, it's Sejima. So today I'm going to be doing a story time mukbang. Like I'm really combining two video ideas. I want to talk about my Saturday and I also want to eat food. So I am on my way to McDonald's right now to get the grub and I'm really excited to just, you know, spill everything with you guys. It's a lot and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. So if you guys want to see me do a story time mukbang, then let's get on with the video. I look like a bubblegum princess. Who would my nails match? It's like, ooh. I'm gonna help you. Hi, can I get like a 50 chicken nugget? You said 50? 50. Uh, barbecue and ranch, please. I mean, a happy meal. My mouth is watering. Oh my god. Hi, I'm here. Okay, girl. I'm ready. So my Saturday was yesterday, so it's still really fresh in my mind. I had to go to a gender reveal, and I had to go to a school dance. I've never been to a gender reveal before. I don't think I'm going to go to one that's going to top this one. I went with my boyfriend, and it was his first time meeting the rest of my family. He and my tia. We had tacos. Like, just like a good time, you know? There's this huge, like, debate. On whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, obviously at gender reveal parties, that's how it is. But my whole family was divided. My dad was team girl, my mom was team boy, my brother was team boy, his girlfriend was team girl. Um, I was team girl, my boyfriend was team boy. We were all divided. And if you don't know what a gender reveal party is, it's basically like a party for pregnant women. And they reveal the gender of their child. So it could be through a balloon, it could be through a cake, it could be through confetti like the Ace family. But my aunt was doing it through a cake and she did it in a way that instead of the frosting being the color of the baby, it's going to be the actual cake. So you know how they slide it out and like it's pretty much you get to tell what it is. Her and my uncle are going to slice it perfectly and then pick it up so it's nothing spoiled. We're all surprised. We all get to know at the same time. Nobody knows except for the baker and obviously the doctor that she goes to. Okay, so the main event. We are all around this cake. It's time to cut it. It's time to know finally what the gender of my new cousin is. They cut it, and I'll just let you guys see the video right now. Two, and it's a girl. Or so we thought. The cake is pink, so obviously I'm, you know, rubbing it in my mom's face. <laughs> but they have envelopes. The one that they give to the baker, obviously to bake the cake, and the one that they got from their doctor recently. It's about to get real. We finally, you know, see that it's a girl and we're all like, oh my god, we're all excited. She's super shocked. Like, everything's happening. And then we check the envelope. And there are the words. Consistent with male fetus. You're probably thinking, how does a baker mess that up, right? Like, how you have two options and you pick the wrong one. You have a 50% chance of getting that right. And you pick the wrong one. The whole, like... An event leading up to an event that led to this event. The doctor, he highlights consistent with male fetus in pink. You could have picked yellow. You could have picked orange. You could have picked green. They even have purple highlighters, but you picked pink on a male fetus, at least highlighted blue, you know, like they, those exist, those are popular, I use those for my notes in class. And then the baker gets that same envelope highlighted in pink, and he thinks it's a girl because of the highlighter. <laughs> so, I'm kind of out here feeling defeated, you know, like what the heck? Like, you take away my trophy? I'm just kidding. Obviously, my aunt and uncle were happy. Either way, you see their reactions compared to when they thought it was a girl, compared to when they thought it was a boy. They literally have the same exact reaction. <laughs> the 
They're just so happy. And honestly, it was great. I feel like this was way more interesting than just a regular gender reveal. So now, I'm gonna move on to the KOH part. So, uh, KOH stands for King of Hearts. It's this dance at my school. And it's kind of like our own Sadie Hawkins dance. So it's girls ask guys, and I wanted to ask my boyfriend in like a cute little way, nothing too big because he's just not that kind of guy. He just doesn't roll that way. I know he's like more shy about it. So when I had a dentist appointment, I was gonna go back to school. It was in the morning, so I'm going back. And I stopped by Wingstop. And I get my order, five mango habanero, the other five original hot, and cheese fries, thank you. Also, Wingstop has the best ranch, like, name a better ranch, honestly. I wrote on top of the box, and I made sure that, like, it didn't drip down because I would have, like, poisoned him by accident, oh my god. I wrote, I'm just gonna wing it, KOH. So yeah, we're at the dance. The theme is disco, so I'm wearing um, these pattern pants with the bootleg cut and this shirt actually. So it's a casual dance and there's always a special guest. Like freshman year when I went, it was made in Tokyo. Sophomore year, um, I don't know who it was, honestly, I'm sorry. I... And this girl posted a tweet saying, so I heard one take J, Priceless The Rock, RJ, and Blueface was gonna show up at KOH. And then a guy told me that, oh, they just say that so people could go. And I was like, well, that makes sense because, like, why would they all show up? Like, they're, like, rappers. Like, they're, like, they're doing better things. Why would they show up to, like, my high school? When I go to dances, I like to be in the front. That's just, like, my thing. Um, I like just being all the way in the front. Like, that's how I like it. But I'm not, like, rude, so I don't push people, unlike some people that go to my high school. But... I kind of just worked my way up there and like we would get tired I would just keep going because I know that we would just have to start from like the bottom again it's kind of like you go through the side and then you have to work your way up but all of that takes like 30 minutes because I'm nice so I got in the front a few times and it's the perfect timing they're just about to announce the special guest and they usually do it um around like halftime because we're only there for four hours so they usually do it around halftime so I was like oh my god like they're doing it so early it was only like I think an hour and a half in. Um, Power 106 like always DJs at our dances because there's a lot of alumni from Power 106. One of the guys from Power 106 like is talking, he's like, okay, now it's time for your special guest. And he's like, give it up for one take, Jay. And like the whole crowd was just like screaming. Like, <laughs> So like obviously all the girls in the front just start turning up, me included. <laughs> he like real life pulls up so like we're like oh my god like this is insane. So everybody's all recording him. He invited a bunch of people on stage, so like everybody was dancing with him on stage. I just drank two bottles of water, obviously, you know, get hot up in there. My fingers are like greasy right now, so I'm just gonna insert a picture of my nails. But yeah, that was my Saturday. Um, I just thought it was interesting. It all happened so fast, and we've been waiting for this night for so long. Um, we never have our KOHs in January. It's always in February, but all of a sudden, comment down below your favorite food from McDonald's. I think mine is a McFlurry and the chicken nuggets and the fries can't pick just one well that's like um a whole little thing but yeah you know how like when you eat you feel really tired because it just took up all your energy i feel like drain but yeah guys i'm gonna have a little cousin like i have baby fever but like for other people's babies you know what i'm saying like not my own so i'm like so excited like i'm gonna have a little bouncing baby boy like the weirdest thing i'm just so ready to hold the baby these are my leftovers i have fries five six seven and a half two sauces half a mcchicken and like none of a mcflurry because i'm about to finish this right now and like 
three-fourths of a soda. We did a lot of work here, guys. So today, shout out goes to the infamous Edna. Hi, Edna. Here's her comment for you guys to see for yourselves. Move my drink. And if you guys want a shout out, all you have to do is comment anything you want down below. A random comment generator will be picking somebody and that person will be featured in next week's video. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, I have plenty of others and we'll be making much more in the future. So please consider subscribing. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.